Hey again everyone, it's me, Marcus, and I review stuff. Uh, today I'm reviewing the song I'm Wicked by the band Twin Temple. Um, if you watched my last video uh, from Twin Temple, you would recognize them as the satanic doo-wop group. And, uh, you know, I might, like I said I'm in the last video, I might get some flack for this because of its subject matter, but honestly I'm just here for the music. I'm not really looking into or necessarily supporting the lyrics. Um, but I gotta say, like, the reason I'm coming back to Twin Temple was the devil didn't make me do it was a bop, man. Like, who knew satanic doo-wop is exactly what I wanted to hear? I mean, <laughs> I, th I think even if it wasn't satanic, the style, um, kind of giving us something old, uh, and making it modern, I think really worked for me. And so it kind of drew me back. I'm gonna see, you know, this next song, I'm Wicked, see if it's kind of in the same vein or if they take a left turn here. Um, but I'm inter interested to see, so uh, please bear with me. <laughs> if you don't agree with the subject matter, I apologize, but you know what? Like I said, I'm here for the music, so let's, um, let's check it out. Alright, here we go. This is Twin Temple, I'm Wicked. All of bleeding under the full moon. What the fuck? I draw power from my womb. I don't want babies. I make love on my enemies to take a good look. Cause I write the book. The serpent, no deadly curses. I took pledge to rain, Carlson. I burn black candles, don't obey God or any other man. Burn me at the stake again. I'll take sinister revenge. I'm wicked. 
Okay, so that was Twin Temple. I'm wicked. Um, well, let, let's break it down. Let's start with the lyrics. Um, you know, it's about what I was expecting from them. Here, here we go. I love bleeding under the full moon. I draw power from my womb. I don't want babies. I'll make love on my enemy's tomb. I think it's an interesting thing there. I feel like those ideas are trying to work together, but they, it seems more of almost like a stream of consciousness type thing. Um, I think the message that she's going for here is not only like that she's satanic and evil and whatever, but that she has sort of this uh, female empowerment side, which I can get behind the female empowerment side, honestly, but... Um, I, I feel like the satanic part, the evil part, is really just there for, you know, the shock value. So, let's keep looking at it. Take a good look, because I write the book. I'm wicked, black magic, I'm evil, satanic, I'm the devil, and I got you under my spell. I'm a woman, and I'm wicked. I seek the serpent, no deadly curses, I take pleasure in carnal sin. I burn black candles, don't obey God or any other man. So really it's almost like, you know, uh, she's a witch, right? She's what we would typically think of as a witch. And that's sort of um, mirrored here when she says, burn me at the stake again, I'll take sinister revenge. I'm wicked, black magic, I'm evil, satanic, I'm the devil and I got you under my spell, I'm a woman and I'm wicked. So, um... Lyrically, it's it's about what I expected from them being a satanic doo-wop group, right? Um, like I said, I kind of like the, the the witchy, like almost female empowerment parts of the song. But I, uh, I, I could do with less Satan, I guess. I feel like it's just kind of thrown in there for the shock value of it. And um, like lyrically, it's, a, it's, it's the same reason I don't listen to very much Marilyn Manson, honestly. Like there's a few songs by Marilyn Manson I like, but I feel like shock value can only take you so far lyrically um i feel like i appreciated the devil didn't make me do it a little bit more simply because the lyrics made it seem like it could even it could almost fit in with an older doo-wop song honestly like it, it felt like it was almost out of the time period with a few you know uh, changes to the lyrics to make it more satanic or whatever right so i felt like this one was almost more purely shock value uh, lyrically, and so I feel like uh, it left me wanting a little bit of something. Like, at least with The Devil Made Me Do It, like, the chorus I felt like I could kind of get behind and I could sing to. For this one, I'm like, eh, yeah, I, I, there's not enough for me to hold on to there lyrically. So lyrically, I'm a little torn on it. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like sideways, maybe a little bit down. I wasn't quite feeling it lyrically. Instrumentally, I think it's there. You know, it, it, it does harken back to that old style. Um... It is a different style than The Devil Made Me Do It, which, I mean, both styles are from, I guess, the time period where this type of music was popular, uh, but this one's a little bit of a, of a different style. And I don't like this style necessarily as much as like the last style. I wish I knew enough about like the history of music to really tell you what those styles are called. I guess this one would be more like Big Band, whereas the other one I feel like is closer to what I think of like a pop doo-wop type song, right? So, um... This one I wasn't as keen on, you know, instrumentally. Although I think those who were playing the instruments did a fine job, you know. Uh, I think it, instrumentally it works, it's there. Um, you know, it kind of get, gets you bop in your head and everything. So I think instrumentally, it's a thumbs up. I mean, it, it's not bad instrumentally. They do a great job. And then uh, on top of that, vocally, I think whoever the singer is, I don't know her name, does a great job singing. I mean, she, she really has that style of voice and she has the range for it. So I think... Instrumentally and vocally, I give it a thumbs up. Uh, listenability, um, again, I, th I think I might have said this in my last video, that the listenability suffers a lot just because of the subject matter. Not many people are going to want to listen to satanic music, so it's sort of it's sort of very, for a very niche audience. Um, as far as just being catchy, being like good instrumentally and vocally, I think it works. I, I think it, it does kind of have you sort of, you know, jamming out to it, but... Um, I think lyrically, you know, it, it just hurts the listenability a little bit. And for this one, it, it felt more like a chore to get through just because it didn't really have, to me, as catchy of a chorus or something to really hold on to throughout the song. So for me, I, I give the listenability a uh, meh, meh. So I'm interested to see what the rest of the album sounds like, if I'm just going to like that one song or if there's going to be a few songs in the album that I like. 
But this one just eh, didn't quite do it for me. I'm kind of neutral on it. Would I listen to it again? Sure. Uh, is it going to make my playlist? Maybe not. So, um, anyway, that's how I feel about it. Uh, take it or leave it, I guess. Uh, if you would like the song, though, you feel free to support the artist. Go listen to their music on their official channels, official pages. Um, if you want to support me, you know, like, subscribe, do all the stuff that you normally do on YouTube. You've been here before. Um, and that's it, man. I'm out. Um, I'm, oh, I forgot my signature. I'm Marcus. I review stuff. And I'm out. See you guys later.